Hi, uh, wanted to show you an easy way to do HTML templates for Casper CG um, with a project from Next Edition. It's called uh, Create Casper Graphics, and it's a framework for making it easy to build HTML templates. To get started, you need a couple of things. If you don't have them, they are Node.js. You need to install that. Uh, and you need, uh, you don't need, but it's easier if you use uh, Visual Studio Code, which is a nice editor, code editor. Uh, and you, of course, need to have the address to uh, Next Edition's framework. Okay, let's get started. Uh, it's um, if you follow the, their uh, documentation, <coughs> Next Edition is, is a company uh, doing a lot of Casper uh, related things. They do a lot of other things also, uh, but uh, they do a lot of Casper, and we love them. Uh, the documentation for this project is really good, and it's easy to. Uh, just follow it upside down and you, and you understand everything. Um, it's based on React. Uh, you don't have to know React uh, just to make an easy lower third or uh, graphics, dynamic graphics. Uh, but if you want to do great things with this, uh, you probably should learn some React. Okay, let's get started. Um, I've installed Node.js and I've installed uh, Visual Studio Code. So I fire up Visual Studio Code. Okay, uh, then we have two Okay, we it doesn't say here but okay, let's do like this. Uh, open folder. Okay, on the desktop I will create a new folder. Let's call this uh, tat, tat, like that. Okay, let's open that folder. Visual Code opens that. And then we need the terminal in, and you have that in Visual Studio Code. You just do new terminal. And here you paste in uh, this code. And that uses uh, npm, which is a part of the uh, Node.js. Uh, copy that, paste it in here, and uh, you can pick your own name for the project. Let's call it uh, one. And it will uh, prepare the project for you, download it and uh, just make you ready to start making templates. Takes a, like a half a minute. And then it tells you what to do, like here, uh, you can see here. Uh, they use yarn, uh, but you can also use um, npm, regular N npm. But uh, okay, the first thing is to uh, cd, change directory to one. Then we go down to that folder. You can see it here. Uh, this is the folder. And here is the created project. So we go down to that project like this. And it is this one here. And when you're there, you just type yarn start or uh, as it says here, npm start. So I type npm start and it will open one of your browsers uh, let's see here okay it opened up chrome for me here i hide this yes. and it opens up with a, an example template and if you follow the, the instructions on the page, uh, 
you see how to create uh, new templates uh, and it's done by creating folders in source so in, in this area here you have source templates example so if I wanted a new uh, template I can create a new uh, sub folder here but now we have example I will do the most easy thing okay so I go and open the index file and this is actually it now we can compile this and put it on Casper but uh, to make it easier to run it uh, with it with a Casper client um, you can make a couple of changes you, you can run it as it is but uh, the it's easier if the normal way in Casper to name uh, dynamic text fields is uh, by F F0 for the first one um, so if I change I have to change in here so the preview also works uh, this one so I change it to F0 and it builds continuously uh, during uh, the development. Uh, this one, preview data, is just uh, sample data for when you build the template. So I can actually write anything here. Okay. Um, hybris. Okay, um, here uh, in the preview you can, uh, for example, you can change the background color of the graphics. You can also put, put uh, an image so you can uh, match the graphics against the image. But that's explained more in, in, in the documentation here, um, I think in the bottom here, graphics background preview and you have other things there is everything is well explained okay uh, but let's uh, let's change some with the graphics just some basics uh, in this uh, example template uh, they have put the the css uh, in in line here the in, in the in the javascript file uh, you could essentially uh, have it as an external linked css style sheet um, but uh, we'll use this one that's provided so let's put another color for the for the back of this let's put like a red like that one dark red not so good this one maybe okay so i'll change the color here to that and you see it updates the oh <laughs> it was almost the same let's change it to something else okay yeah uh, this is uh, CSS, you can use RGB A or RGB or S HSL or whatever you want. Uh, that works in CSS. Um, I put blue, uh, let's change the background color to something so we can see another thing. Okay, I want to add some transparency to this also. And uh, if you add two uh, more hexadecimal numbers here, like let's put uh, BB and then it becomes a bit transparent but we also want to make it dynamic so, so the length uh, respects the text length so and one easy way to do it here is just to remove the width and then you uh, it will be like this but we can add uh, pixels and we have to add a comma there maybe some more 25 okay 
is the world's most simplest lower third, but it's dynamic. Okay, now I'm ready. Um, I exit out of the live uh, preview and do what's written here. npm run build. Now it builds the project. So it created the dist folder here. And here is my uh, template. Uh, <coughs> I've, uh, I'm sitting at home because it's cr Corona times and uh, I have to work against the work, uh, uh, our office uh, with VPN. So, uh, but I can see uh, the Caspers from here. So let's put the template in this. I put it on one of my caspers like that then I have the casper here it's some latency but I'm on VPN as I said so I prepared some uh, just uh, video uh, okay and I want to refresh okay, I had it before so I place it here. I add some text in the okay, and we play it. Hulu was here. We can uh, ah, what I'm doing. Let's change it. So you can see that it is dynamic. So I update it now. Don't remember update F6. Okay, so it's dynamic. And it's transparent. Okay, uh, I'll maybe do a couple of more because it's quite easy to do, uh, quite advanced. Uh, I, I can show you one I did uh, the other day. Uh, here is another one. Let's remove this one. Okay, so this is with an animation. Fades out. And I can add some more text to that one. actually have another field so and it's built in the, uh, like w one hour I built that uh, or one and a half or two hours maybe uh, so it's really really easy and it's really really fun and they really like if if you have uh, ideas, they are really open for good ideas. To so trade out, ciao.